guys, this is Kelly. I'm back with another process video. This layout is for Citrus Twist, and I am using the gorgeous February kit. It is called Cedar Grove. I'm using the main kit, the embellishment add-on, and the Project Life kit. So the page ends up being all Maggie Holmes Flourish collection. I did not intend for the page to turn out that way. I had some other things pulled um, I guess the page, with the exception of this music sheet. Um, I had some other things pulled out, but I just ended up not using them. So that is definitely one way to um, make a quick page if you get a kit club. You know, if you belong to a kit club, is to pull out the things by the same manufacturer and just, um, you know, make your page that way. Instead of doing that, what I uh, did is I pulled out things that were either neutral, like the music sheet and that um, cream and gold pattern paper that is from the 6x8 Maggie Holmes Flourish paper pad. And then I had pulled out neutral die cuts and things that had the pops of pink. The reason I chose the pink, uh, well, one of them, first, the Project Life card that I am placing behind the photo is one of my favorites in the kit. It has uh, some white flowers and a couple of different shades of pink. And I thought that it would work well with the background of the photo. The uh, photo was taken of us when we were on a cruise and there's some reflections and it's, you know, it's just, it's not the greatest. It, to be honest, it, when I put it into black and white, it didn't look much different. Um, you know, the, uh, obviously the color wasn't there, but there was still some high contrast um, glossy areas. Um, so I just decided to do the color and I really like the way that the pop of red comes off of everything else because it tends to be a monochromatic layout. Now when I say monochromatic, you know, I think of one color with neutrals. And so for this I'm not counting the black, the cream, or the gold um, as you know just one neutral. Um, and I do actually use a couple of different metallics with this. So when I, when I say monochromatic, I mean that I'm using various shades of pink and that's it. So I am trying to figure out exactly what I want to place on my page. And I knew that I wanted to use that vellum die cut with the swans. I, I thought that was, you know, perfect because swans mate for life and it's a picture of me and my husband. And I really like the way that it layered over the music sheet, you can still see the swans, you can still read the love, um, and I'm actually going to place it over and you can, when you're looking at the layout, you can see underneath the, the doily that I use for my stash, you can see a little bit of that texture below the die cut as well. So it just made for a very fun piece. I usually get a little stumped with vellum die cuts because I just can't quite layer them correctly. But this just layered beautifully, and I think the key was keeping it tone on tone, or you know the same shades of the cream or the ivory, and it just it really worked well and it was gorgeous. So these are Pink Fresh Studio uh, stickers. They're the leatherette stickers, and they came in the main kit. And I was going to try to work that you and me sticker in because it the heart in between the you and the me is red and I thought that would be the perfect way to bridge that little bit of red that is in the photo. But it doesn't end up making it on the page. So I'm looking at this uh, blue and pink floral paper. This was from the 6x8 paper pad and I am debating whether or not to fussy cut one of the roses. Um, I love that sheet of paper and I thought you know, that I wanted to use it, you know, intact on a project. But then I just decided, you know what, I'm not going to hoard it. I am going to be good and I'm going to fussy cut one of the roses and see if I can work it on the page because I usually do that and I usually like it and I'm just going to be good because my craft room is full of things that I have hoarded because I didn't want to use it in the particular way that I felt led to with the layout. So I'm not doing that or I'm going to really try hard not to do that. So I just roughly fussy cut it just to see placement on the page 
And, um, you know, here's where I'm thinking, okay, do I really want to use all of my favorite things on this page? You know, that pink with the gold is one of my favorite papers. The uh, white and the gold floral is another one of my favorite papers. And, you know, I just cut into my favorite blue and pink floral. And then I just decided, okay, you know, you know what your mindset is. It doesn't matter that you're using your favorite things. You're going to like the page when it's done. Just do it. So the white with the gold stays. So I don't, um, I just fussy cut this one flower, so I left it in. Um, if you are fussy cutting and you are having trouble with it, try to keep your, whatever hand is your dominant hand that you're using the scissors, try to keep that one straight and then move the piece of paper around with your non-dominant hand so that um, I just find that you can cut a little bit smoother and my results tend to be better when I do it that way. So I'm just using some powder to de-stick my stickers. This is a EK Success powder tool. You do not need to have this powder tool. You can put baby powder on something and de-stick it. It's nice because I like to move things around my page. I am definitely, um, I guess I shop around. How about that? I shop around for the best place. So in order to diminish the likelihood of it really sticking to my page where I don't want it to, I find that by just using that tool, it helps uh, get the baby powder on, not make a much of a mess because believe me, my studio is messy enough without having to bring in baby powder to the mix. So I'm just using a little bit of vellum adhesive and I put it behind the swans and you cannot see it. I did not want to run the entire uh, die cut through my Xyron machine because I wanted there to be a little bit of lift with the die cut because I felt like it would show the details or I, I felt like it would make a better, more interesting detail if I just left it. And I just wanted to stick it down just a little bit. So I am going to pull off that sticker that says you are so loved and that is going to kind of be the shelf that that flower rests on. And this little deer die cut I thought was perfect for a page of us. You know, um, some spouses call each other deer or, you know, whatever. We don't, but um, I just thought that it would be the perfect animal to go along with the swans. I wasn't trying to go for an animal theme, but I do like it when things that I'm using and the embellishments that I'm choosing go with what I'm doing, especially if I'm using an animal. And I felt like the swans with the love and the little deer worked perfectly. So I am going to put some foam uh, dots behind the pink rose. I want to pop it up. And I'm also going to use some of the packaging that the foam dots uh, come with. And you just, it's a great way to stretch your stash by using the, you know, the negative piece of the foam. And if you haven't done that, definitely try it because, you know, I like to get the most bang for my buck. And if I'm going to be spending money on scrappy goodies, it, I really don't want it to be adhesive, if that makes sense. So I'm just going through the stickers and I'm going to choose the white label with a little black outline. And I chose that one because I wanted to bring some more black onto that left side of the page. There's a little bit, well, there's actually a decent amount of black right now on the right hand side. So I want to definitely bring a little bit more to that left hand side. I like to balance things out. So I do know that I want to use a couple of these phrase stickers and I will be honest, I pull, put a few down on the page and then a little bit later you're going to see um, in the close-up in the close-up photos at the end how I fix a mistake and I end up uh, sprinkling several more of those phrases down the page and I am actually very glad that I made that uh, mistake because I like the page better with my fix. So I am going to just go ahead and move the puffy sticker over into that right hand cluster and then take the other sticker and move it into the left hand cluster. The puffy sticker is a little bit 
uh, larger, I guess, or a little bit longer in height. And I think that it balances out that rose better than the sticker. And now I have black in three different places in the layout. And I feel like that that puffy love sticker helps to anchor everything together. So at this point, what I'm trying to think of is my little finishing uh, touches. And I thought I was going to stamp, but then I thought, you know, I really don't want to stamp and use a bunch of the phrase stickers as well because they're different fonts. And I didn't think, you know, in certain pages that it, it works well. But with this page, it's a little bit more of an elegant page. And I just decided to um, nix that idea. So the last thing that you are going to see that I do is um, I'm going to, in just a second, take my layout over to my sewing machine and I'm going to do some gold stitching around the outside edges of the layout. I felt like it needed something to contain it. It was pretty white and out there and it just didn't seem, the page didn't seem to be contained. So I'm leaving this part in. It looks a little bit blurry on my end. I'm not sure if the focus just, you know, caught. So if, if this little section is blurry, you just see me um, doing my mist and that's it. So I apologize if it is a little blurry. Be sure and look at the close-ups at the end though, because that blob right there is the blob that I fix and it was driving me nuts. And I thought, you know, I was just gonna leave it. But when I came back to the page, I uh, discovered a way to fix it and I love it better. So like I said, be sure and look at the close-ups at the end so that you can see how I brought more of those fray stickers down and it just um, goes all the way down into that bottom right-hand cluster. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.